Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ryan Griffin, and this is another episode of Right in the Feels. Our guest is Mr. Ben Johnson. It's Mr. Mr. Ben Johnson. Yeah, that's right. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, he's as good of a dude, probably a better dude than your songwriter, but you're yeah, a pretty yeah. amazing songwriter, too. <laughs> so just a, a quality human being and also an incredibly talented musician and songwriter. And this is Ryan Griffin. Hold your applause. <laughs> <laughs> so Ben um, has written a couple songs that's going to be on my debut record, which I'm super pumped to yeah, have too. you a part of it. Yeah. So thrilled to be a part of it. You bring such a cool aspect to it, like in the writer's room. Just he, he really has that like R&B kind of soul married with the country lyric and, yeah. and whatnot and kind of pop thing going on. So. Yeah, which works perfect because you can actually sing a lot of the things that I think <laughs> of. <laughs> Most people cannot. <laughs> Man, it's crazy. But he also wrote a song um, for Charlie Puth. I did. Talking about range and like just yeah, wow. insane melodies. He wrote yeah. Patient. Yeah. And man, I would love to hear kind of how that song started. Okay. The journey of it, how it got cut. Yeah. What it was like in the room. Wow, that's a long story. Um, yeah. But it's, we got time. Yeah, yeah, here we go. But um, <laughs> so it really started, so I had gotten married a few months before, and it all started because my wife and I had a big fight. So, really? <laughs> yeah, I did. Your and lovely wife. My She's beautiful actually sitting wife right here. Come here, here. Come here, quick. Yeah, come on. Come here, say hi. Hi. You could act it that's out of here. We had a fight. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and I had made a grocery run to make amends for the fight, because that's what you do, right? Obviously. You either fold laundry or you go to the grocery. For sure. I chose to go to the grocery. Smart man. Yeah. And <laughs> so I'm in the Kroger parking lot, and I was literally just thinking, and I knew I was in the wrong, because as guys, we 99% of the time are. Really, yes. 100%. Very and true. And so, yeah, I knew I was in the wrong, and so I was Your like, marriage is going to last a very yeah, long time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and, uh, and I literally was trying to think, like, how I could apologize to her, and I was just kind of... I was either sitting in the parking lot or driving home from Kroger, mm -hmm. and that whole chorus just kind of came out. Um, I still have the memo on my phone, actually, of where I was like, oh, please, you know, <laughs> just like, you know, where you're weird humming yeah. things and trying to think of stuff, and and uh, it really just fell out. It came straight from heaven, I think, so. It's incredible. And, I love um, when it happens. Yeah, and that's really the genesis of that song, and then uh, one of my best friends, Fraser Churchill, was actually staying at my house at that time, and I went in to my studio at home and I was kind of working on it. He came in and he was like, hey, what you working on? We kind of ended up finishing it together. Yeah. And then um, Ashley Gorley. Was this super late at night when this happened? Uh, I'm sure it was, yeah. yeah. I remember you telling me something <laughs> yeah, about that. Yeah, I think that. it was, like, yeah. It, it was, was the middle of the night. Yeah, middle of the night, you know. Um, he couldn't sleep probably because I was working on the song. Yeah. <laughs> and um, anyway, so uh, Ashley Gorley, who's a good friend of mine and yeah. now my publisher at the time, just a Huge. friend. Huge hit song. Yeah, he's alright. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Most hits sort of Mo ever or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. No something. big deal. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, he heard it, and he. Uh, long story short, he sent it to Charlie, and Charlie loved it, and Charlie ended up um, finishing the song out because at that point it was really not complete. It was just kind of the thought of the song and mm -hmm. a lot of the chorus. And anyway, and Charlie ended up uh, with Jay Cash, who's also an incredible writer. We kind of all went back and forth and finished it up, and that's um, amazing. Yeah, man. yeah, he really killed it, and um, and I and then. Uh, he, he actually was coming to Nashville at that time. He was opening for Shawn Mendes. Okay. And I got to uh, hang out with him. We talked about the song. It was really amazing and good yeah. moment. Yeah. Dude, that's incredible because you never know the journey of a song. Yeah, it is. Like, yeah. We write songs every day and you never know how the song's going to get placed. True. Or what home it's going to find. We all have these like, yeah. images in our head. Or yeah, and, and everybody always asks me, like, oh, did you know when you wrote it? And like, no. I was like, <laughs> no idea. that's kind of cool, I guess. Like, I played it for my grandparents. I remember that. I, <laughs> Because <laughs> they were coming over to my house and they're like, oh, all right, okay. And I was like, well, all right. Grandma's like, what's that falsetto thing you're doing with yeah. your voice? <laughs> yeah. that, that's Why weird. do you sound like a girl? Like, <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so yeah, yeah that's kind of how it happened. That's incredible. So when yeah. you guys were in the writer's room writing it, did yeah. it, obviously the chorus just fell out. Yeah. But the verses and whatnot and just the rest of it, like yeah. how long did you guys spend writing it that uh, night? Uh, really, very quickly. I mean, um, it probably all happened in an hour. And then Charlie uh, really... Those are the uh, best. I give total props to Charlie. Charlie is a consummate artist and he knows what he wants to say and he really... Good word. That's like a $10 word right there. Thank you. There. Yeah, yeah. An artist, yes. Yeah, I can say that about you sometime if you pay me enough. Okay, um, deal. <laughs> And Bosh, Bosh, let's get yeah. him a check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he really made it his own. And, um, you know, he's, he had a really great point of view where, what he wanted to say and how he wanted to say it. And he really made that song um, a thousand times better than it was before. So, so cool. Yeah. And uh, we actually performed it yeah. a little bit ago. We did. And it's so high. <laughs> it's so high. It's yeah. so hard to sing. Yeah. <laughs> and Charlie yeah. just crushes it yeah. effortlessly. Another fun fact. Originally when we wrote it, we initially thought, oh, this would be a good Sam Smith song. 
Oh, I can see that. Yeah, I can so, totally see that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it has his melodies and yeah. his range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. What That's does Charlie so have? He's like perfect pitch, oh, but yeah. even beyond that. Beyond, is, I don't know what it's called, but it's like beyond perfect pitch. He can be like, oh, it's an A443 or whatever. He like he's, hears a bus go by and he's like, yeah, oh, he can, that's a B, whatever. Yeah, you know, he's, he's a freak of nature. Yeah, he's that's incredible. incredible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Yeah. Well, guys, Ben Johnson and the story behind Patient. Yeah. Massive song that uh, is on the Charlie Puth record. Honestly, one of my favorite songs on the record. Thanks, man. Appreciate and that. so proud of you for writing it, dude. And Thanks, just, man. Yeah, getting to do this. Appreciate Thanks for being it. here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Ben Johnson, y'all. Cheers. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, brother. Thanks, dude.